Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, we got some uh, VTrain news. So let's get into it. So uh, on this article, I got it from uh, CryptoNewsFlash.com. So it says VTrain recognized by German government for smart supply chain management. So the study describes that VTrain has many partners in different branches of industry because of its advanced technology, which we all know, which is uh, why we're so bullish. And that's why we're going to go to the moon, guys, because VTrain is probably like one of the best altcoins that has one of the best use cases, as well as uh, sharing, guys. Um, if you're not familiar with sharing, the amount of transactions that are going to happen probably in a year are going to kind of blow your mind. Just join our Telegram group and you'll see stats, facts, FAQs, etc. And you, you'll be bullish on that one too. So anyways, take a look at it. Sharing. Sharing.network. Anyways, let's get into it. So in the study published by the Germans Federal Office for Information Security, VeChain is recognized amongst 300 blockchains for its intelligent supply chain management. The study aimed to examine and evaluate the security of 300 blockchains as part of market analysis. So VeChain, Corda, and EOS is uh, among recognized blockchains. The study recognized eight blockchains of 300 studied. So guys, 300 studied, you know, VeChain was in this, Corda and EOS were among the blockchains. The study says that Corda could be used to develop health-related applications if there are no other candidates. But the thing is, we know that VeChain is not just supply chain. We know that VeChain is in so many vertical markets, right? And this is why I love it because, you know, they're just not supply chain, traceability, everything. Like it's from medical, hospital, Cyprus, you know, Idante, farming, agriculture, APAC council, cash flow, right? I could keep going on and on and on. So EOS, on the other hand, received recognition for being a technology that allows the construction of decentralized applications and for its market cap of $3 billion. This makes EOS highly relevant in the market. About VeChain, the study states that its technology is similar to Ethereum and offers a wide range of practical applications. So the VeChain blockchain will store information about certain products. Unlike Origin Trail, VeChain has a much higher market cap and is supported by a high number of large companies. High number of large companies. Good. With the study of VeChain Origin Trail, the field of application supply chain management is covered. The report studied the open source code of VeChain, EOS, and Corda and used automated analysis tools such as static code analysis and manually checked the security related components of the code. That's great. So, you know, this, this study with, from, from Germany, uh, you know, by Germany's Federal Office for Information Security, BSI, this is great because that's, that's one of the main factors, right? When you, when you start dealing with like decentralized finance, it, you know, anything with decentralized finance, just anything in general when you're doing blockchain technology, one of the main things is security, right? And this is, this is great that an article came out about this especially in germany you know it wasn't published from a company in china which i know i'm going to get a lot of trolls commenting that you know it's a chinese coin or it's an asian coin or you know even though they're singapore based i'm still going to get people commenting you know why do you believe in that chinese coin so let me hear it but anyways published study by a company in germany sbi information security etc right so this is good this is good news so alas, it says, you know, as reported, CNF VeChain has obtained a large number of cooperations with important partners. Together, its partner DNVGL, it participated in a webinar to present the blockchain technology and its use cases for the sustainable management of the seas. The event was co-organized between Chinese authorities and Norwegian representatives in Shanghai. In addition, VeChain and DNVGL also partnered with Italian brand ICAB, La Femante, to use the VeChain Thor blockchain to record all information related to the Italian tomato supply chain in a pilot project. So I made a, a video on that probably a couple of days ago with, with the news about La Femante. So great news, guys. Um, like I mentioned, the videos that I keep creating, uh, sometimes I don't have enough time because there's so much news in between like VeChain and more, right? And now that we're getting, you know, about 0 0.078, 0 0.008, I think when we get to a penny, the fear of missing out, the FOMO effect is going to kick in hard. If you look at all the other altcoins, 
you look at Zill, right? When Zill went from 0 0.006 all the way up to a penny, did you see the movement? That fear of missing out, people want to get in, right? Did you look at Digibyte. Digibyte did the same thing. It went from like 0 0.003, 0 0.006, skyrocketed. People saw it, fear of missing out. Look look at all the, the tweets that's going on. So check this out, Boosted Yoga, Yoda. hundred. So this was uh, pretty recent, 100 million Vito bought from OceanX by VeChain and then 70 million Vito moved to the account that is sponsoring all VIP 191s. So this is more enterprise fiat money bought to toolchain credits converted into Vito. So what that means, toolchain credits, is that means more enterprises are coming along for TCC credits, so toolchain credits. Basically toolchain credits, so when you're selling enterprise blockchain solutions, it's for those companies that don't really want to deal with like cryptocurrency, going on an exchange, buying VeChain, then trying to figure out, okay, well, do I get a no to, to, to calculate or to get VThor, et cetera, or do I buy VThor on the exchange? TCC, which is toolchain credits, or the tool chain, this just allows you to onboard your customers easier, which I think is great. You know, it was a, such a great idea that VeChain did this because, like I said, like even if VeChain wasn't in the cryptocurrency market uh, as a company as a whole, they could be listed on the NASDAQ and we'd still be invested into them because we're such early adopters with blockchain technology solutions. Yeah, this is great. So you keep seeing down, like even if you look at the transactions, so this amount, you could actually go to VeChain Stats and you can look at all the transactions that happen and you'll see there's a lot of buying in terms of like the market for VeChain. So anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Guys, I hope you liked the video. It was uh, nice and short. So please comment, subscribe and like and join my Telegram group too because I'm going to be giving um, some giveaways pretty soon. And there's not going to be any links. It's probably going to be in my Telegram group. So you want to make sure you join that Telegram group because I'm going to be giving like $100 worth of, of sharing pretty soon. And then also probably following the next month, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for um, that probably at $100, right? Kind of give back to community, right? Because you guys notice that I have ads, right? I have ads, right? You guys watch them, right? Or if you don't watch them, then um, you don't. But if you do watch the ads, then great, because it helps the channel. And I'm also giving back to the community. I'm going to be giving like $100 a month, et cetera, or something. Something like that, you know, wallets, Trezor wallets. Probably not Trezor wallets, but more Nano Ledger S. I like the Nano Ledger S. So um, join my Telegram group. I'm going to be posting more of the prizes and giveaways there. There's not going to be that many links on YouTube. I think um, if you're going to look for the, the prize giveaways, it's going to kind of be hidden on my, my website on a certain URL link that's going to be different. So it's going to kind of help you guys watch my videos to the end and then also join my, uh, my Telegram group. But we've got, you know, everyone from beginner to advanced to super beginner in terms of cryptocurrencies. And sometimes we just talk about uh, even non-related cryptocurrency stuff like passive income because everything is pretty much money, money related base. You know, a lot of people like passive income, like real estate passive income, which I love. Cryptocurrencies we talk about, we talk a lot about sharing, uh, VeChain, not so much Bitcoin, but uh, the overall markets and stuff. So again, guys, join my Telegram group, subscribe, like, comment, and then I'll probably see you tomorrow.